it really is a uh, pleasure for me uh, to introduce our next uh, person to actually conduct the swearing in. Uh, retired Superior Court Judge Pat Riley as a former Assistant District Attorney. Uh, he has tried cases in every courthouse you can imagine, whether it's the state or federal uh, courts around the country. He is a longtime friend of our mayor-elect, and I'd like to bring up our good friend, uh, former Superior Court Judge Pat Riley. To the to serve as your new mayor. It's been my great privilege to serve the people in Methuen in elective office for nearly half of the past three decades. As your new mayor, I will spend at least the next two years in your continued service. I would like to take a moment to thank my wife and family for their love and support. They understand that for me, public service is a major part of who I am. I could not do any of this without them, and I am very, very grateful. I want to offer my special thanks to my dear friend, former Superior Court Judge Pat Riley, for coming up from his retirement home in Florida to swear me in today. It isn't easy to leave a warm place to come back to New England in January, but I can't imagine a day without him. I also want to thank Mayor Stephen Zani, for his dedication and commitment to the people of Methuen. As a member of the city council and as our outgoing mayor, he has always put Methuen first and has served with honor and distinction. He and his staff have been extremely cooperative in providing us with a smooth transition. And for that, Mayor Zani, I am grateful. Most of all, I want to thank the voters of Bethune, who again have put the faith, their faith in me to be their mayor and guide the city's future. Safety, opportunity, vision, community. These are the elements to a bright future for Methuen. 
And these are what I will fight for every day as your mayor. Today, people are getting by, but not getting ahead. For me, that isn't good enough, because I believe that our city can be a place where families thrive and businesses succeed. Under my administration, I will lay the foundation to create a long-term vision for the city that keeps Methuen affordable and brings opportunity to our city and its residents. First in that effort is to ensure that your city government is working for you in the most effective and efficient manner possible. Right from the start, I will take a fresh look at our city government and take the opportunity to improve how City Hall runs to best deliver services for you. Starting tomorrow morning, I will be meeting with all the city department head and the employees to outline my vision and expectations and to discuss how we can make improvements to get things done. Over the next few months, my administration will also conduct a citywide finance and program audit to review how your tax dollars are being spent and to look for ways to both streamline expenses and to increase output to the community. While much has been done to tighten our belts, it is important that we continue to look for ways to get a handle on our expenditures. By opening the books, we'll be better able to understand where we are, where we are doing well, and where we can do better. Ensuring that our fiscal house is in order will allow city government to better serve the people of Methuen. Along with that effort, I will also need to focus on capital improvements. Investing in our infrastructure will allow Methuen to be prepared for our future. We have critical needs in this city, and to ensure that they are being met, my administration will create a comprehensive capital improvement plan to clearly identify those needs. And we will seek to maximize, Congressman and Lieutenant Governor, maximize state and federal funding to supplement the contributions being made by the taxpayers of the building. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. We also need to make investments in our future, and that means working to make sure our schools and our teachers have the support, equipment, and the fact facilities they need so our children have every opportunity to reach and exceed their dreams. There are opportunities out there for Methuen to grow its economic footprint, and we need to take the initiative. So when companies are looking to set up shop, they look to our city and see the wealth of talent, a strong community, and a plan for the future that is complementary to both businesses and the people who live here. My administration will also work with our schools and with higher education institutions in the region to ensure that our citizens, all of our citizens, have the support and the skills they need. I have no doubt in the potential of Methuen. I am confident in the commitment and dedication of our people to our city. And I know that we can chart a strong course for our future. But even with this de dedication and determination, there are challenges ahead. One of our biggest of these is the opioid epidemic. As a me longtime member of the state police drug unit, specializing ironically in heroin cases, as the former chair of the legislature's Joint Committee on Public Safety, and as the former Secretary of Public Safety, I have seen firsthand the true effects of addiction. In my state police role, I led hundreds of drug raids. I saw families ripped apart, lives lost, and people in the darkest depths of addiction with no will or no hope. In my opinion, more needs to be done to cast aside the shadow of the opioid epidemic that has fallen over every city and town in the Commonwealth, which includes the filing of legislation, in, and I'll be doing that immediately, to address what I consider some of those unmet needs. But this is a problem that can't be solved city by city, town by town. There must be a broader approach with communities working together. 
I am committed to bringing our region together to find the solutions we all need to address the stranglehold of this crisis. As your mayor, I will not shy away from difficult decisions. I will address the issues that hold us back from moving forward. I will ensure that the foundation of our city is strong. And I will look for opportunities that will allow our city and its residents to thrive. Your concerns are my concerns. Your issues are my issues. I am committed to making city government work for you. Together, we will find solutions that work for everyone. Thank you, may God bless you, the city of Methuen, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and most importantly, the United States of America. Thank you.